Workers in Nigeria have projected the sum of 615,000 naira as minimum wage to be approved as living wage President Bola Ahmed Sinubu. Joe Ajaro, the president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, the umbrella body of the Nigeria workers, stated this while reacting to the 35% remote pay rise approved by President Bola Ahmed Sinubu. The NLC president described the remote pay rise for federal government civil servants as mischievous, saying living wage should be 615,000 naira. Ajaro stated this while speaking during an interview on Channel's television on web as part of activities to mark this year workers' day in the country. He said, we should be in the regime of new minimum wage as of today. Discussions were supposed to have been concluded. The federal government through the National Assembly legislated on it. But we saw that the discussion entered voicemail because the federal government refused to reconvene the meeting that was adjourned. I think the announcement now appears mischievous because there is no wage increase that government is announcing. For them to announce it now, it is an issue that we are worried about at the NLC and even at the TUC. Ajaro said the organized labor has agreed on N615,000 as the living wage for civil servants. The NLC leader said, living wage is such that will at least keep you alive. It is not a wage that will make you poor and poorer. It is not a wage that will make you borrow to go to work. It is not a wage that will lead you to be in the hospital every day because of malnutrition. For that living wage, we have tried to look at 615,000 nairas. Let me give you a breakdown of how we arrived at that figure. We have housing and accommodation of 40,000 nairas. We asked for electricity of 20,000 nairas. Of course, that was before the current tariff increase. Nobody can spend this amount currently. We have utility that is about 10,000 nairas. We looked at kerosene and gas that is about 25,000 nairas to 35,000 nairas. We looked at food for a family of six that is about 9,000 nairas in a day. For 30 days, that is about 270,000 nairas. Look at medical, 50,000 nairas provided there will be no surgery or whatever. For clothing, we looked at 20,000 nairas. For education, 50,000 nairas. I don't know for those who tried to put their children in private school, they will not be able to cope with this amount. We also have sanitation of 10,000 nairas. I think where we have another bulk of the money is transportation. This is because the workers stay in the fringes and because of the cost of PMS that amounted to 110,000 nairas. That brought the whole living wage to 615,000 nairas and I want anyone to subject this to further investigation and find out whether there will be any savings when you pay somebody on this rate. It would be recalled that Nigeria President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in a statement few hours ago may have confirmed he has not increased the salaries of workers and pensioners in the country, contrary to speculations in some media. The President, through his spokesperson on media, Ajiri Miguelale, said, is committed in reviewing the welfare and working conditions of Nigeria workers most especially in working towards better wage award and minimum wage which the President said in the statement is imminent. The press release reads in quotes as presented below, President Bola Tinubu heartily congratulates Nigerian workers on the auspicious occasion of workers they held annually to celebrate the lifeblood of our country. The President salutes Nigerian workers for their fidelity to the peace, progress, and development of the nation evident in their tireless efforts and patriotic zeal to keep the national engine running. President Tinubu celebrates Nigerian workers across all spheres, from the clerical officer who ensures the proper documentation and distribution of correspondence, the security officer who remains ever dutiful through all seasons, the teacher who secures the future of our nation by imparting knowledge to the next generation, the doctor who works relentlessly to save precious lives, and to all Nigerian workers who keep the candle aflame. The president affirms that his administration remains committed to improving the welfare of all workers, noting the various relief programs, including the wage award and the imminent minimum wage review. President Sinubu strongly believes that the custodians of the nation's machinery deserve a fair wage and enhanced welfare and that the laborer is deserving of not just any reward but fair and commensurate wages. The president assures Nigerian workers of his dedication to not only improving their welfare but also enhancing their working conditions and providing the necessary tools for them to succeed. The president wishes Nigerian workers happy May Day celebrations. We have earlier reported that the government-owned Nigerian television authority, until may have deleted a post reported it had tweeted that suggested the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu has increased workers and pensioners' salaries in the country. Some media had quoted the government-owned television channel, until to have reported that the federal government under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has increased the workers with 25 to 35 percent. NTA only tweets today as seen around 1 p.m. on Wednesday showed that the president's wife sent a message of appreciation to Nigeria workers. Osasuwa Kang Nede, bringing you the news in a more digital way.